Okay, so here we are back on the defensive again in our Russian campaign. I've done the force selection, I've done my research, we've just added uh, Panzer Shrek to anti tank teams, Panzer Shrek teams, and this T 3485 uh, later war with the nice white paint stripe on it. So, phase one, we've got engineers and miners, as you might expect. Uh, phase two, we've got some rifles, conscripts, and a medic coming in with our um, super veteran Panzer Panzer IV that we captured. We're keeping that in the uh, the game. Phase three, mortar and flat cannon, um, and a couple of guards, rifle squads to bolster the defense line. This truck here, the supply truck, is to tow out the uh, Pack seventy five anti tank weapons, some more infantry, Panzer Shrek team. Uh, we're bringing on the 17 centimeter minimum warfare that we captured last time just because for nostalgia's sake and then in the final phase we've got two T-34s and another rifle squad so let's go and take a look at what options we've got only one defensive mission we'll confirm that and let's hit the game here we go so all is normal we've got a ah oh, it's this this map with the rail bridge uh, the big wide bridge and there's a defensive location around this area here with some trenches and um, the far side of this river there's a cliff escarpment and some more trenches it's kind of semi dug in and then there's this village here it's pretty good um, terrain for the defensive um, to block up the roads with miners so I've got two anti-tank miners uh, and there's a good road we can block there depending where we're positioned on the map and some AP miners as well. So we'll get into our usual dash for the mines uh, in the early part of the game. Let's see if we can control the flow of enemy forces onto the board. So here we go. We're about to roll into this, so let's get looking. So lots of good medium AI all over the board. We're down in the northeast corner. We'll let the sun come up and we've got three defensive locations. Let's hit pause. So from where we are in that corner, uh, we've got one defensive location here, which we can hold pretty succinctly. Another defensive pretty close. And this field here has got to be mined out with um, AP mines. And this road here looks like it's got to be mined out with AP anti-tank mines, as is this one. And then over here, we're holding the high ground in here. Uh, we've got a defensive position just the other side of this bridge here as well. So I think we want some mines around here and across this field. So let's take the paws off, get call in one here. So anti-tank miners, uh, I'm going to send over to there. Uh, second set of anti-tank miners. Uh, uh, this junction area there. Some AP miners, where are you? Why are you hiding? I'm just gonna cover this area here with AP miners. We've got a scout that I'm gonna put into this high ground up here. Overlooking that area, we've got an infantry squad that we're gonna get um, just lined up about there for now, dug into that position. A flamer. Seems the reasonable place to put the flamer. Engineers. And the engineering truck. So the engineers, I want to start building uh, trenches close to this one here. And the engineering truck, I'm going to send up with the miners. So they can refill, they can fill your boots. Everyone else is running. Do we have some medics here? Yeah, I'll put some medics. We'll use this as our this area here for now is our medic station let's get everyone's moving so let's get calling two on the board so we've got our little panzer and I'm going to push that panzer because he's got a long journey right over to that left hand flank uh, some more infantry uh, they can just settle into that wood yard there uh, infantry I'll put over on the left hand side and a couple of medics can also make it way over to there. Okay, that's pretty good. Right, you guys. 16. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We'll just mine that junction out there. You guys, you've got 32, so I want you to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We're just going to make this particular field unpleasant for anyone who wants to approach the victory location from that side so they can get mining. These guys are still heading for the mines. We'll just put the mining truck up there. Okay, these engineers, let's just get a couple of uh, get a trench over there and a trench over there. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm just going to bring those miners back up the hill into this location here and this squad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. You can just dig in on that space there. Tanks okay. Okay, sounds like we're starting to get some action. So these anti personnel miners want to. Where? Well, come on, come on. You haven't got much time now. What have we got? We got a Broomba. Bringing these 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 miners back. Okay gone a bit silent because this is all a bit hairy. I haven't got a lot in the centre. Some more recon team over in the centre there. And another anti-tank team. Okay. So it looks like... Looks like the mines have done the job and we're pretty... Okay, we've got a full weight of this attack coming in now. miners. That's medics. What happened to those two miners that were out there? Here they are. Fill up your boots. 
Uh, that's anti-aircraft. No, it's not. This he's going to have a go at my lovely Panzer. Get out of that way before he turns and gets you. Or is, or is he after the engineering truck? He didn't get the tank. But he did get the engineering truck and the miners. Well, oh, that was painful. We'll hit that with an artillery barge. T-3485 and T-3485 and a flat cannon which I'm going to push over to the middle there okay here comes the infantry rush and we've got a tank Don't crowd the foxholes like that, guys. Wow, what was that? That was a Brumbar. Okay. Okay, so we're going to need one of these T-34s over here. Looks like we might lose unless we can move a lot faster than this. We're going to have to counter-attack Fortunately, we uh, looks like we might have tracked him on the road there. Is he going to hit? Is he going to hit a mine? There he goes. Lovely, 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 lovely. Blown him up. So we need these T thirty four eighty fives to get moving along this road here. Both of them. This one's got to come around here. I'm just going to get that one to pause there and 
face that way I think we're okay because the mines have done an amazing job again these anti now we've got a race to get that's another mine that's just outstanding that's absolutely this is why I love mines so we've got that that's a tank crew we've got a recon team that we can line up here and we've got a marder coming in here he's going to try and navigate that minefield Where's our T-3485? There it is. So that's our reserve infantry. Some heavy artillery into that location. Come on, hit a mine. That's a mine that should track him, and that should track him. Just an incredible job by those miners. Hetzer. Anyone got a bundle here? Anyone got a bundle grenade? Just to throw at that guy. That'll do. Jesus is relentless. Nice. Nice. Wow. Well, okay, that's about it. Look at this debris here. Look at this chaos that was caused by those mines blocking up that road. That was just a beautiful use of mines. And then we had to go in and close assault some of the tanks. We've got two T-34s and we used the Minnenwerfer to bomb those out. But uh, that's where we are. We've done the end of the game. You know, it's been a very long battle, but we can go for the scavenge and I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay, we're done. We're done. We've been all over this battlefield and caught up a whole leap. There was almost a panzer division against us, but this little minefield down here just did an amazing job. An amazing job, actually, as did these mines here that stopped the attack in its tracks and meant we didn't really have to deal with mass German armour, for which we only had, uh, well, we had the captured Panzer IV, which got blown up over on the left flank, two T-34 A5 and another capture 76. So on the whole, that was a, another good fight for us. It was a bit squeaky. It was a bit bloody at the end, trying to take out the final German tank so we could go for the scavenge. But I am going to have to, and you, you'll see when we get to it, I'm going to have to edit this um, video for content. It's just way too long. You know, I know I like to do these things live, but you know, 30, 35 minutes is about the limit. So I'm going to have to chop down some of the action to make sure that uh, it fits within that time slot. This was a very, very, very long game so we're going to leave it there for now again uh, let's just get back to the exit screen exit this game finish we won the match saving progress and there we are uh, cash yes but stars and research not much but uh, i'm going to take that as it is 
I won't do any more on the operation screen because we've got to end this uh, video now. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with the channel. Thank you for sticking for what I hope is the hyper-realism of uh, Call to Arms Gates of Hell Osferent. I shall see you on the next battle. Bye for now and see you later. Oh,